pal Dr. Steve in a world where the sun and the moon engage in a celestial dance. One event will captivate millions, cause traffic jams from hell, and turn regular people into complete blind idiots. Get ready for the great North American eclipse of 2024. A solar eclipse happens when the moon aligns perfectly with the sun, blotting out its light for a few minutes along a well-defined tract on the Earth. If you're not in the direct shadow of the moon, called the umbra, you'll only see a partial eclipse. There won't be another good one in the contiguous United States for another 20 years, so try to enjoy totality if you can. Let's start with some ancient eclipse myths. Back in the day, people believed a monster was eating the sun during totality. They would bang drums, engage in rituals, and make deals with their creator that they'd stop stooping the neighbor's wife if only the dragon would go away. And then party and congratulate themselves on a job well done three minutes later when the eclipse naturally ended. Then they'd forget about all that pesky repentance stuff and go back to what they were doing before. Human nature never changes. Let's talk safety for a second. People irrevocably damage their retinas every year through dumbass eclipse practices. So please heed my words. Do not look at the sun unprotected unless the eclipse is actually total in your area at that moment. If there's even the slightest sliver of the sun visible, your retina can be damaged forever. Get eclipse glasses, use a welder's helmet, or fashion a pinhole viewer by projecting the sun's image onto a piece of white cardboard. Do not use eclipse glasses from the last eclipse, the mylar degrades, or use exposed film or polarized sunglasses, you will damage your vision. Do not use eclipse glasses with binoculars. All filters must be made for solar viewing and go in front of any magnifying elements. Pay attention during totality to your surroundings. The temperature will drop. Birds might start chirping, cats and dogs may start living together, all heralding the apocalypse, of course. So whether you're a seasoned eclipse chaser or a first-time viewer, remember to keep those eyes protected. If you want to feel better about yourself, beat a drum to defeat the monster, vow to mend your ways, and when it's over, go about your business that afternoon like nothing ever happened. Oh, and prepare for walking dead level traffic jams as millions of people try to get home after crowding onto a narrow strip of earth during the path of the eclipse, partially because the next one in the U.S. is until 2033. Maybe it's good these things only happen every few years.